Hey guys, and welcome back to another card review. So, instead of moving on and talking about Blaze Man, I decided to go ahead and stop and go ahead and talk about some more uh, Stella Knight cards because I really like the deck and I want to make it in real life. So, I want to go ahead and go over all the cards in the deck and talk about all of them and give my personal opinion about all of them and whether I'll be running them or not and the reasons why or why not. So, today we are looking at, uh, was it Stellar? Yeah, Stellar Knight. I always want to say Suh. But it's not, there's no A. It's just Stellar Knight Alpha. So, uh, this card is a continu- Oh, it's like an equip spell card. I almost said continuous spell because it says card effect type continuous, but no. It's an equip spell card. And, uh, I talked about it in the- a little bit in the previous video. And when I talked about, uh, Beetlejuice. I'm gonna call him Beetlejuice. <laughs> but, uh, I think it's a pretty decent card. So let me go ahead and go over it. So it- an equip spell card. It reads, equip to a Teller Knight monster you control. It gets 5 round attack and defense. Also, it is unaffected by your opponent's card effects. If you control a face-up monster that is not a Teller Knight monster, destroy this card. So, I think it's a pretty decent equipped card. And if the Teller Knight deck continues getting support where you can just make a pure Teller Knight deck, then I definitely think that this would be a really great card to go ahead and put in the deck just because of how powerful it is. Like... You equip it to any Teller Knight monster, you know, from just simply equipping it to, uh, you know, what, Altair and making him a uh, 22 beater, to equipping it to uh, Delta himself and making him 3,000. Uh, that extra 500 attack is uh, really nice, no, you know, no complaints with getting an extra 500 attack. But the uh, thing, the effect that really makes me like this card is that it becomes unaffected by your opponent's card effects. Unaffected. Affected by your opponent's card effects. I love that. I love that part. Like, quip to Delta? Attack? Deep Prison? No. Mirror Force? No. 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 Uh, what? You're gonna Dark Hole me? No. That's not gonna work. I'm unaffected. Uh, you're gonna, what? You're gonna try to 101 me? No. Nope. That doesn't work, Andy. That wasn't, doesn't work either. Like, I love, I love that. Like, that's so powerful. Just being unaffected. It could be like, oh, it could be unaffected by spell and traps. Or it could be, you know, it can't be targeted. No, it's unaffected. Like, that is so powerful. God, I, I just love that effect, you know. And uh, that final effect is the one that kind of kills it for me. And it's kind of like, ah. Uh, if you control a face of monster that is not a Teller Knight monster, destroy this card. At this point, in my opinion, Teller Knights are not... Uh, so Teller Knights are not consistent enough to be running stuff that's not them. Definitely not. Uh, you know, not running, uh, you know, you need to help with the consistency, um, bringing out your boss sponsor, so you run Kages, you run Goldfish, uh, some people run Fire Knights, but there's always something else. Summon among, there's always something else. Now, uh, you could probably just take the duel slow, but I just feel like the deck's not consistent enough. I mean, maybe the reason, the way I run it, but I really don't run any more than just those nine. And if I don't run any more than just those nine, then the card gets kind of bad if I don't have anything to equip with it. But, um, you know, and because you can equip it to Delta and you can bring out Delta really easily, I, I, I would consider running this card. Just because I just think being unaffected by everything, it's just awesome, you know? The opponent doesn't got that MST, then you got a 3,000 beater that's popping a card every single one of your opponent's turns who's unaffected by your opponent's card effects and your opponent can't respond to your uh, normal or special summons as long as you have uh, Xe material, like, awesome, awesome. So, I'm wavering, I'm wavering. I like it, I really do. I really like this card, but I'm just not sure if I'll be consistent enough to get it out. I, 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 for the deck, I'd have to get, make sure that the consistency is up on par. If the consistency is like up there, like yes, yes, this, look how consistent I am, uh, I would probably take out Lances. I, I would take out Forbidden Lance out of that deck and put this in there, just because Majority of the time, I'm gonna go for Delta. Delta is my boss monster. Now, when it sends to the graveyard from the field to the graveyard, I get a plus. I get my resource back, so of course I'm gonna go for him. And then just being able to slap this on him and make a like 3,000. Yes, 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 uh, yes, yes. I'm gonna go with yes. Because as, if I can get the deck consistent enough to whip out Deltas and quit this with Delta, I'm so powerful. I, I'm, I'm, I'm almost, I'm almost, I'm almost killer level powerful. So, I would say yes. I would say yes to play this card if your deck is consistent enough to drop out Delta. Slash tri Trivial or Trivial or whatever his name is when he, when he comes out. Yes. Yes, I think so. Just making Delta a 3,000 beater who's unaffected by your opponent's card effects. Like, so good. So good. 
better than Lance if you can get him out. If you can, if you can get him out consistently. Yes. So tell me what you guys think about this card. Like I said, I think it's just awesome. Like I love this equip card. Like wow, you know. And the whole part where it's like, if you control face of monster, it's not a tell monster choice card. I am going to have a three thousand delta on the field. You know, I really don't need to even commit any more than that. And if I do, I'll just summon other Telonite monsters. But I really don't need to commit any more than that. I got a 3,000 monster who's unaffected by my, my opponent's card effects. That's, that's killer strength. I just turned Delta into killer strength, pr pr practically. Oh, so, definitely, I think this card is great. I think it should be played if you're consistent enough. If you're not consistent enough, don't even consider it. But if you're consistent enough, I definitely think you should definitely play it. Because this is such a good card. So tell me what you guys think about this card in the comment section below. So thanks for watching, thanks for all the support, and I will see you guys next Tuesday with another card to look at, probably another Teller Knight card, since I'm going to go ahead and do and go over all these Teller Knight cards because I really like the deck, and see whether I'll play it or not. So uh, thanks for watching, thanks for all the support, and I will see you guys next Tuesday with another episode. Thanks for watching.